On our last episode of Make It Real, we built an electromagnetic railgun using 16 capacitors. Success! Firepower. Now, while we were testing the railgun, we realized just how much power we're actually able to create with this capacitor bank. We're talking about literally hundreds of thousands of amps. So we thought it'd be kind of fun to do another video where we see what happens when you put everyday objects in the path of this capacitor bank. Let's see. This video has been sponsored by Alliance Heroes of the Spire. Alliance combines some of the best RPG style games together into what feels like an instant classic. With real time PvP, crazy giant bosses, never ending hero combinations, and massive guild battles, it's an absolute blast to play on mobile. What I really like most about the game is how there are over 10,000 different hero combinations, which really lets you put your skills to the test, letting you become the best of the best. So what else do you need? Check out the description below, click on my link, download the game, and get a huge bonus of 50,000 gold and 50 gems on me. Plus, by playing the game, you support our channel and ensure we're able to continue making these awesome videos. Still zero. Really? Oh boy. Oh boy. Ready? So you might be wondering why or how capacitors are so powerful, able to release so much electricity and literally vaporize items. Everyone's familiar with batteries. They take a chemical reaction to create an electrical output, and they last for a very long time. In fact, they're used to power pretty much all of our electronics. The difference between a capacitor and a battery is this doesn't actually use a chemical reaction. It's actually a static charge. Think about static electricity. This allows it to attract a massive charge and then it can release it instantaneous. Whereas a battery has to release the power slowly because it's a chemical reaction. So one capacitor was simple enough. But how exactly does this setup work? Well, we have 16 capacitors in parallel. The leads are connected to this vise and to this cable here. But we've got an electromagnetic switch here that we rigged up to this button. So when you press the button, it connects the circuit and vaporizes whatever you put between the nails. So to charge the railgun capacitor bank, we actually use this little circuit here. Unfortunately, during these capacitor tests, um, we were using it too frequently and it actually overheated and broke. So to charge the capacitor bank now, we're actually just using 400 volts 
DC from this array of batteries. Now, you can't just plug this into a capacitor. You need to have a resistor in line. And luckily, light bulbs act as perfect resistors for an application like this. If you guys are curious about how this circuit actually works and how the capacitors are charged, check out the circuit diagram at maker.io. And thank you to DigiKey for providing some of the components we used. So this should be an interesting experiment. When electrical current passes through a conductor, it actually creates an electromagnetic field away from the wire. Since we have this going up and down, when we connect that capacitor bank, it's probably going to deform very violently. Let's see what happens. Two, one. <laughs> That's a, basically exactly what we said would happen. Yes, it's pretty hard. It's, it's burning, yeah. That's interesting, the sparklers actually didn't ignite, they just blew right off of the hot wire, you can see it's all just in pieces. Weird. So this is probably a terrible idea. We have a lithium ion 18650 cell connected to the capacitor bank right now. Now if you've watched our previous videos, we've exploded lithium polymer batteries before and they, they turn into pretty big fireballs. Lithium ion is technically quite a bit safer, but honestly, I have no idea what's gonna happen when we run 400 volts and a few thousand amps through a battery that normally only produces a few amps at 3.7 volts. Two, one. <laughs> Do the glass would explode. video we want it to explode, so even if we have to fire it twice, I think it's worth it. It's not going to explode. Three, two, one. Zinc in this. <laughs> All right, 
That was awesome. What kind of items would you like to see destroyed by electricity? We tried a bunch in this one, but we're always open to more suggestions. And if you haven't watched the Railgun video, check it out right there. We also have an awesome series called Make It Real, where we take fictional ideas from comics, movies, and video games, and make real working prototypes. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button and make sure you're notified. You're not going to want to miss the next video.